Good morning, everybody. My name's Kristen, and you're watching the Dahlia Society, and this is a Dahlia Society Vlogmas. We're on to day eight. The first thing I'm gonna to do to get started is the advent calendar. And um, day eight, I know, I do remember what it was because it's very special, very exclusive. So let's see if I can remember. I'm gonna put a pick up close up so you can see exactly what these are. As as I am, I forgot to order myself a set of these, but I have got a pick so you can see exactly close up what they are. These are a very special set of buttons made by a local maker here in Australia. She's from New South Wales, Naruma, and her name is the Lazy Laura Keat. Now she's designed these beautiful little exclusive buttons, especially for the advent calendar box. So you lucky ladies have got some beautiful little exclusive buttons, beautiful white with little pink flowers and some sparkles. So I made sure that I let her know I wanted something to match the box, the aesthetic of it, and something that you guys would love. So how adorable are they? beautiful little resin buttons that you can pop onto any of your beautiful me made garments. I really love her buttons and I do stock some in my online store and I just think they're beautiful. So how lovely is that to get something really special and handmade from a local maker here in Australia. Um, today I am going to get going. I've got lots to do this morning. I've got some book work to do. I've got about 10 orders to pack which is Great. We've had so many orders just overnight coming in and also I've got to go and do some shopping, some food shopping for the house because the Hello Fresh has been great but of course it's only the one meal a day that you get in that and of course we've got seven of us to feed here and the four person meals are great. They're really sort of spreading out but I always need to bulk mine up a bit to make them go a bit further but I'm finding them really practical and handy and when you're busy and not having to worry about what's for dinner because it's already there in front of you. So I saw that Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door had also been doing Hello Fresh meals and I had a bit of a chuckle to myself. It's seven o'clock here in the morning. It's still early. No one else has gotten up other than husband. He's actually been up for work at 3 a.m. because he's a train driver so he gets up early all the time. Actually no, one of the kids has gone to work. She started at 5 30 so she does before and after school care. Now that's Charlotte and she has just graduated from her degree, her teaching degree. So we get to go to a special graduation night next week in the city. So she'll get to her Bachelor of Education, which is awesome. So she's uh, looking for where she wants to work in the future. But I think she's heading towards either kindergarten or early primary school. So that's really exciting for her. And yeah, so we've got heaps going on here in the family. We've got the pool ready to go up, which hubby has um, he's been packing down the sand and everything, getting that all prepared. And of course, the rain came and made it all sloshy and wet again. So that's got to be done probably over the weekend. But <laughs> before, actually, no, it can't be done this weekend because we're going to see Billy Joel in the city. And we are so lucky to have tickets to see him at the MCG. I think the last time he came here was 15, maybe 15 years ago. So really excited to be having a night in the city and I'm also going to be doing some videoing for you guys. I'm going to try and get the Maya windows in Burke Street Mall which of course last year you guys loved seeing that close-up footage so that will be happening and I'll be trying to actually when we go in with um, going to the graduation night with Charlotte next week. Oh hello look who's here this is Mabel now you may remember Mabel I spoke about last week she's my 20 year old Burmese cat and she's very, very frail. She's finding it hard to walk around at the moment, but um, yeah, but she's still purring and still quite happy to sit on my lap here. So Charlotte's graduation, we're staying in the city as well that night because it'll be a fairly late night. Uh, and the next day we are, are going to the Loom, which is amazing. There's um, right next to the hotel we're staying at, the Loom, which is the Monet exhibition, which was is an interactive kind of, um, yeah, you can get in amongst it all and I'm going to be filming in there for you guys as well. So how exciting is that? You'll get to see up close footage of that Mono exhibition. And yeah, there's plenty more going to be happening on the Dahlia Society. Now, the last two weeks of Vlogmas, 
if I'm not videoing every day, I'll be doing a compilation every couple of days when we go away and things you know, like that that I'll be videoing. So I'll see how I go, but for the first 12 days, you'll be seeing me every day. And then after that, it might be you know, every couple of days, but I'm gonna try my best to bring you one every day. Um, but I do know from the past experience, life starts to get very busy that time of year. I'm sure you all agree. It is a bit of a crazy time of year. So sewing, I'm, as I say, the Charlie caftan is halfway there. Already thinking about some things for summer that I want to make, some sleeveless things. It's going to be quite a hot one from what I'm seeing. Um, and I also would love to delve into making some bathers. Uh, I know the cashmere uh, bathers look fantastic, and that's the ones I'm looking at. But there's also the Cottesloe by Megan Nielsen that I have in the store as well. So there's a couple there that I'm, I'm looking at maybe getting. So... Yeah, it's all very exciting and it's all happening here in the Dali Society for Vlogmas. Back from shopping, ready to unload. And I forgot to tell you guys what I've got on today. I've got my I Am Patterns Lucien shirt in this really pretty Lady McElroy disco. So one of my favourite blouses because it's warm but it's cool. So it's not quite summer, summer yet, but it will come. Hi, everybody. I'm back. It's now 7.30 p.m., had an incredibly busy day. Uh, I spent the morning doing orders and shipping those out because I'm doing a lot of express um, shipping orders at the moment, which means you'll all get your orders before Christmas, which is fantastic. But it means I've got to make sure I keep on top of it. And then I needed to go and do some groceries. When we go and do groceries, it is about a half an hour drive to our closest major supermarket like Coles or Woolworths. Um, we do have one about 20 minutes away, but it's only a small one, so we need to go but half an hour drive and it, yeah I'll try and make sure I stock up because we do have a little local um, supermarket here but it's quite expensive because we've got a small town it is growing but I find that I, I like to go um, a bit further out to kind of buy bulk things for the, the, the next two weeks because we've got a big family to feed. I'm really enjoying the HelloFresh at the moment. I'm finding the meals are uh, so tasty. I think we actually decided today, uh, Mum and I were talking about the new Patton Emporium Ocean Days shirt. Mum wanted to make the green one and she, uh, the green viscose linen, the cocktail, it's a mojito green colour. It's turned out so lovely. Um, so I think she wants me to come and help her do the snap buttons tomorrow. So I'll be doing that with her because it's great. They snap, um, the pliers are fantastic. Um, the Ocean Days oversized shirt. She's done it with the short sleeve. Fantastic pattern. And you know, after having the one, I really think I need to make more, but I want to make some short sleeve versions. So I'm still sewing my Charlie Caftan. It's about halfway there, but now I'm also thinking about some other things that I want to make. So on my list is a pair of linen viscose um, pants. I want to make the Vacation Vibes Palazzo pants. So that, of course, is the woven pattern that Kate has got at Pattern Emporium. Her knit pants are the Palazzo pants, so the, the woven ones are the Vacation Vibes. So I'm thinking about doing them in this navy colour that I have in the online store, the navy gin, and I want to do maybe three-quarter length. Might look nice. So nice and breezy with that full elastic waist, um, so comfortable. Um, but with that, I just said to mum today, how amazing do these colours look? Um, we've been cutting out quite a bit of linen for the orders, the linen viscose, and I love, love this pink strawberry daiquiri colour. And I'm thinking, how nice would that be in an Ocean Days short sleeve shirt? And then I could wear it open over like a tank if it gets really warm. So that... Is going to be an Ocean Days shirt and the Vacation Vibes um, pants. And then I've got a little bit more of the green. Wouldn't mind making um, a, another short sleeve. And this fabric was the Marnie Stewart Nerida Hansen um, cotton linen. It's still a little bit left in store. I think for this, I want to make the Closet Core cello or cello top, that boxy little top. It's got a really nice faced neckline. You can do it with um, the facing all by spiny, I think. Uh, but I really like that top. And I remember I haven't made any more than one and I thought I need to get one of those because with those uh, elastic waist pants, they'll be really comfortable. And then I can mix and match and accessorize with the navy. Look how nice that all looks together. Oh, I love that combination. Hi, Mabel. Come here. Mabel's come to say hi. So I can see a full-on 
ensemble and then I can wear a little navy tank top maybe underneath the shirts opened up. Um, I can wear them over jeans as well. Then I can wear the closet core um, cello print Marnie Stewart top with the vacation vibe pants too. So a full on ensemble there. I'm really trying to make sure that, you know, I saw a few things that will sort of integrate into the wardrobe and I can mix and match and get a real um, little collection happening there. I love sewing collections. I think it's so nice when everything intertwines with each other. I'm going to get Mabel because she's looking up at me. Come here. She is so frail at the moment. I, oh my goodness, she's so getting so old and frail. I always say to the kids, she needs like a little um, palliative care wheelchair for her back legs because they're just not, they're not carrying her like they used to. Are they, darling? No. And she really just wants to be cuddled all day. And I always say uh, when the kids were babies and they used to have the little the pouch on the front, you'd carry them around. I need one of those for Mabel because she just is so tired. She can't walk very well. And she wants to be close and cuddled. So she's very precious. But So that is all for me for today. I'm going to get on with some sewing tonight. I'm going to try and finish this or nearly finish this, Car this Charlie Caftan. Charlie Caftan? Charlie Caftan. <laughs> and maybe get some things cut out. I can't wait to show you mum's top that she's made. So maybe that will be over the weekend because, um, yeah, we need to get those buttons on. So maybe by Friday I can show you that. Tomorrow we're out to pick some more fabric up for the store as well. Of course, the linens, viscose, blend, solar colours are flying out the door. So I'm going to need to stock those up for you guys because I think a lot of people are loving those um, solid colours. They've um, sold really well. So it's really exciting. Um, and I'm still waiting for that Fabric Godmother celestial print to come. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, praying that we'll be here any day now because I know a lot of you are waiting on that to make something special for Christmas. So I'm going to leave you with it all there. And that was day eight for the Dahlia Society's Vlogmas. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye.